So the Texas Attorney General is once again trying to shut down the Annunciation House, one of El Paso's largest migrant advocacy organizations. The state's top lawyer accusing the nonprofit of human smuggling and even operating as a stash house. KFOX 14 News at 9's Jennifer Cuevas is in downtown El Paso for us with why the state wants the Annunciation House to stop its operations. Jennifer? Today, the Texas Attorney General filed a temporary injunction to shut down the Annunciation House. Now, this is the second time that the state has wanted to shut down the center you see behind me this time this year. Now, the injunction also includes claims that the Annunciation House is breaking multiple laws. Here's a look at the temporary injunction that was filed by the Office of Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton against the Annunciation House a local organization that works with migrants, immigrants, and refugees in El Paso. The state says it seeks to cancel the registration of the Annunciation House due to it not turning over requested documents to understand its operations and having violated the law by facilitating human smuggling. In a statement, A.G. Paxton said, quote, any NGO facilitating the unlawful entry of illegal aliens into Texas is undermining the rule of law and potentially jeopardizing the safety and well-being of our citizens. Back in February, Ruben Garcia, the founder of the Annunciation House, held a news conference with local and state officials after the documents were requested. What this is about is human beings who have arrived, who are now in front of us, that are in our community, and the question arises, how do we respond to these human beings? Today, Jerome Wesovich, the lawyer representing Annunciation House, released the following statement that reads in part, while the Attorney General drums up attention to his false claims, Annunciation House continues to serve refugees as the law allows and as the gospel commands. Meantime, El Paso Congresswoman Veronica Escobar took to social media in support of the Annunciation House. Without Annunciation House, the humanitarian crisis at our border would be far worse, and that's exactly what Republicans want. Now, I contacted Garcia to find out what the next steps are in this process. At earlier, he could not tell me, but we will be sure to keep you posted both on air and online. I'm reporting live in downtown El Paso, Jennifer Cuevas, KFOX 14 News at 9.